Hello all and welcome back to the channel. Now as a PS4 owner, I can assure you that almost nothing is more frustrating than getting a new game, popping it in and facing this error where you're left to figure out which games you like the least that you can uninstall from your hard drive. Today I'm going to help you with that in the form of a quick guide to back up your data and upgrade your PS4's hard drive. While I do this on my original model PS4, note that the process is much the same for all PS4 models and it does not void your warranty. For this, you'll need a USB drive, a USB hard drive, and of course a larger hard drive. The drive I have here is nothing special, just one I had lying around. Note that the original PS4 only supported SATA 2 interfacing, which means installing a super fast SSD likely won't make much of a difference in speed. The first thing we're going to do is plug in our external hard drive and perform the backup. To do this, go to Settings, System, Backup and Restore, and select Backup. Bear in mind that this will not back up your trophy, so if those are important to you, manually initiate a trophy sync to the PSN servers. This will take 20 to 60-ish minutes depending on how much data you have. Once this backup is done, we can shut the PS4 down and physically replace the drive. Simply pull this shroud off the PS4. Remove the retaining screw for the drive sled. Remove the four hard drive screws from the sled. And now we'll go ahead and install the new hard drive. Now, we have a blank hard drive on our PS4 and we need to prep our flash drive with the OS file to reinstall the operating system. Be sure that your USB flash drive is formatted as FAT32 and then use the link in the description below to download the PUP file. Once downloaded, create a folder on your flash drive titled PS4 and another inside there titled Update, all uppercase. Copy the PUP file into the Update folder. Now, back at the PS4, plug the flash drive in and hold the power button down. You'll hear the initial beep like usual, but keep holding for about 7 more seconds until you hear a second beep, then you can release. This will take you into the system recovery where you can click Initialize PS4. Be sure you have your PS4 controller plugged into your PS4 as the wireless functionality won't work at this point. This will take a bit, so grab a cup of coffee and come back later. Once it's done, power through the initial setup of the PS4's out-of-box experience. At the home screen, once again, go to Settings, System, Backup and Restore, but this time choose Restore. It may take a few seconds for your hard drive to be detected, so don't panic if you see this error. Once the Restore is kicked off, it will take a good amount of time depending on how much data is being restored. Now that that's done, you can see that my PS4 is back to where it was before I upgraded the hard drive, and we can go into the system settings and confirm that we're now seeing a 1TB hard drive. That's basically it. So hopefully you found this video helpful and as always, I'll see you in the next one.